Joe Surf Shack is a well-known bar that is located in the heart of the Jersey Shore in Belmar, New Jersey. For many people around the area, this is a place that they can call home. Unfortunately, since the pandemic, there has been a drastic change. Business at Joe Surf Shack before the pandemic was booming. Um, we were becoming a, a hot spot in the town of Lake Como, Belmar area. Um, everyone was making really good money. Staff was making money. Bartenders were really making good money. So was our, our servers. And of course, um, you know, the owners were making some good money too. Um, it was great. It was a lot of fun. Uh, people really enjoyed our food, our entertainment, our drinks. Everything was really going well. What has changed for me as a manager? Everything has changed for me as a manager. Um, I went from managing large groups of customers to managing a defined number of customers. I went from managing a full staff to managing a partial staff. I went from managing busy, hectic, um, high volume nights to just a controlled stream of, of revenue. It's a, it's a completely different animal. It's we had to develop our parking lot into a restaurant pretty much, uh, purchasing tables, bars, chairs, lighting, uh, heaters, tents, etc. So we've, um, we've reinvented our restaurant probably eight to ten times since March. So as a regular customer, um, the immediate benefits of it impacting me coming to Joe's were pretty much positive. So, um, you know, without without coming to the bar directly after work almost every day and hanging out for an hour or two, um, you know, March, April, all of a sudden I started seeing more money in my bank account, which was nice. Um, but I missed the uh, community. I missed the people. Um, this, this bar in particular has a great staff. Uh, they really make you feel friendly, uh, make you feel like you're a friend and, and you know, part of part of the group in here. So, so the impact that it's had on our business, um, it's impacted us in ways that we kind of anticipated and in ways that we didn't anticipate. Um, so I'd say the biggest one is volume. You know, we're a company that experienced uh, several consecutive years of double digit, sometimes triple digit growth. Uh, that ended in March when the shutdown began. Um, we're also very heavily on-premise draft oriented. So a lot of breweries are about 75% cans, 25 draft. We're kind of like the opposite. So we do more draft than cans. Um, obviously that was impacted. Always having to like be very, very careful with washing your hands constantly, sanitizing constantly. It's, it's, it's a lot to, to, to remember throughout a shift when you're in the weeds and you're busy and you're running around, but like we have and then with the closure of bar seating, you know, I think that myself and most bar customers like to sit at the bar, kind of communicate with the bartender a little bit, talk, gossip, you know, spill, spill your guts a little bit. Um, so that's something that's missing. Uh, I, I think my perception of the restaurant business at this point is it's uh, struggling to survive. It's a, sort of like being on a ship that sank and you don't know which way to swim towards land. You don't see land anywhere. You're just treading water and waiting for someone to come by and save you. It's, uh, it's, it's a very different industry. It's uh, an industry that needs a lot of help right now. The way this affected the hours I work and the money I make, I mean, I work, I, my, my hours got cut down by 20 hours every week and the money is definitely not as much as I've been making so I have to work more or harder or I have to do side jobs and it, it really does it sucks a lot. I do think that we'll get we will get back to some normalcy but this has changed the world forever I think uh, the way large crowds can gather the way large masses can can come together um, I think um, there's still going to be hesitancy from even the, the average consumer to, even if there is vaccines in place, people are still gonna be a little gun shy to go into a busy bar, a packed stadium, a packed concert. Um, I personally will not be, but I know the feeling of some people will. So I think it's going to, at least my lifetime, it's gonna, I'm gonna feel it the, you know, for the, for the rest of my life. <laughs>